ready to talk. <laughs> run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. You're a monster. I'm not a monster. Here you are. You and those fairy tale creatures poisoning my perfect world. Now tell me, where are the others? Eat me! Oof. I've tried to reason with you, but my patience has reached its end! Tell me, or I'll... Not the buttons! Not the gumdrop buttons! Then tell me, who's hiding them? Okay, fine. I'll tell you. Do you know the Muffin Man? The Muffin Man? The Muffin Man! Yes, I know the Muffin Man. Who... Who lives on Drury Lane? Well, he's married to the Muffin Man. <laughs> the Muffin Man? The Muffin Man! <laughs> he's married to the Muffin Man. <laughs> 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 yeah, because if you heard it, he said he did he's married he. to the Muffin Man. <laughs> so, he's married to the Muffin Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah yeah so good yeah and with that we are live episode 30 la, 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 can la, you la, believe la, it la, la, that's that's for iliana john lithgow john <laughs> lithgow <laughs> yeah john lithgow thank go, you go well you know what i went back and listened to that podcast and you referred to him as joe jo john lithgow go or something and i was like ha even you did it so you sucker anyways john lithgow okay <laughs> lithgow. come on all right whatever anyways <laughs> episode 30 we've yeah. done it 30th yeah. episode and yeah. we're not canceled night, yet night 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 getting this podcast on Spotify. So Whoa! if you're listening Whoa! on Spotify, hey! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we are no longer just on YouTube. We are now on Spotify. So go check us out there if you're listening via Spotify right now, via however you want to say it. Uh, thank you so much for checking us out. Bump that. Um, via, via! With that, don't, let's go don't turn us off just yet. Don't turn us off just yeah, yet. There's good uh, stuff to come. <laughs> we are still on a roll. With that, let's go ahead and jump into the news. Beep, 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 the news. So I'll go ahead and start us off um, with Loki finishing its finale, season one finale, uh, just this past week. And the other two, Brian and Katie, did not watch them. Uh, I watched the episode uh last two no i watched the whole season whatever and wow um i have a lot of people who said that it was dull it was boring compared to like wandavision which was very grabbing and winter soldier because winter soldier was pretty much good throughout the whole thing wandavision kind of fell off uh at the end of the season whereas loki was kind of meh the entire thing for everybody i had an opposite reaction I was there for it the whole time. Granted, I fell asleep in one episode at the end. However, it was awesome. I loved the characters. I loved Loki being himself. And I was super invested. And that last episode, I'm like, oh, shoot. Whoa, what's going to happen now? And for me, as a person who's not very much a Marvel fan, to be excited about that and, like, the MCU, that's a big deal. So if you haven't seen Loki, go check it out. Uh, the season one finale just ended on Disney Plus, so they are uh, cleared for a season two. So those are my thoughts. Go check it out. Riveting. Yeah. It speaking of the MCU, yeah. Speaking of the MCU, so Black Widow came out. Uh, I think it's in its second week now. This will be the third week. Um, but this past weekend, it was the second weekend that it's been released. Uh, the decline of the box office was huge. I think it was more than 60% decline from the wow. revenues that it made in the first week. So 
that being said, with movie theaters still struggling to reopen and try to get back on track and everything, this was a huge decline for them, especially a big blockbuster film. So they were pretty upset, not with audiences, but they feel that a lot of their uh, uh, money was siphoned away because Disney yeah. does the streaming gig with Black Widow. You can watch it on at home for 30 bucks. For 30 bucks. So what do you guys think? Do you really think that... I know that in the future, like the next Marvel film, Shang-Chi, that's that's going to have an all-theatrical release. It won't come to Disney Plus until way, way, way later. But do you really think that people definitely watched it at home? Yes, absolutely. I already know a few people who weren't going to go out in public and watch the movie. Um, maybe they're still scared of COVID or whatever. But, you know, just enjoyed it from the comfort of their homes, paid the 30 bucks to watch a premium. They're like, if I go to the theater, I'm going to have to go with other people. And then I need the icy, the popcorn. And while all of that's great and you love the atmosphere, you're spending 50, 80 bucks easily. So I mean, <coughs> 30 bucks and then just have a bunch of people come over. You guys get a couple pizzas, five dollars here and there. You barely spent a thing. So, wow. That's just this the kid's way that got I'm it. At it. Yeah. Um, and then also, too, I, I think it was just pretty interesting that uh, they feel that piracy was a big influence of it. And I think they what they mean by piracy is uh, password sharing, that uh, mm. people are sharing their mm -hmm. passwords or they're, or they're just recording it, recording the show. And then passing it off, and that's how people are kind of skipping the, you know. Surely that think. must have that had to have been an issue that people were aware of at the beginning, like prior the, to. Yeah, even at the beginning, before um, Premiere Access was a thing, they had to take that into consideration. Well, you never had a, you know, your big release. I mean, originally, way back when, Black Widow was supposed to come out last year, mm -hmm. and it would have gone straight to, it would have gone to theaters, and then after, you know, three, four months, then probably go to um, streaming to Disney+. Plus. So, um, you know, I just remember when Milan came out, and I mean, that, you know, that, yeah, that no, didn't it, even go to really, theaters it, at all. It really is a big, big deal, because, and, like, Marvel movies are a big deal. And so for they, them to have a premiere access on Disney Plus and for it to be doing so poorly in the box office, I think that really is a big deal. And I wonder how much revenue they made on Disney Plus. They made like $60 million, apparently. That's what the numbers I heard. $60 million from Disney Plus. That's the first week alone. So, so I don't that, know what they made the second week. How is that comparison to box office? So... so First weekend, ninety million box office wise, and then first weekend Disney Plus sixty million. So that's a nice chunk of change. But then that if that box office goes down all the way to like thirty million dollars, you know, the next weekend twenty million, it's like whoa, holy cow! But I, okay, that's... so then I I'd wonder what's the compare and contrast uh, from okay, so that's one hundred and fifty million for. Disney Plus and box office combined first week. What does that compare to prior movies box office alone? Because this is the first movie that they're having premiere both in theaters and on Disney Plus. I know it's it's a it's going to be people are going to be looking at this for a long time, especially to Marvel movies aren't cheap. I mean, is, is that going to cover the cost of this film, the marketing and all that? You know, each Marvel film is two hundred million dollars easily. And to it's make not and, even like create. you know, Black Widow is kind of like a throwaway character. Like she's a main Avengers character. So I, you know, I wonder where are the fans at in this whole thing. I don't know. Is that a is that a response to women superheroes? Do I audiences don't know. show that's, up? That's a whole other conversation. Oh, because man. That, is, that you're, might you're, be a whole other conversation. Yeah, that really is. Because you can't say that. She really is, you know, she's part of the Marvel gang, the, the Avengers gang. She's the main person. And to have her own movie, I feel like that's a big 
big deal for people to step up. And but see it. it's is it too late too though? Because we already know what happens to the character. If you've seen Avengers Endgame, mm. spoilers, you already know what happens to Natasha Romanoff. Right. So now that she's getting her movie, you know, way late in the game in the whole series. Is it our people are like, you know, it's I just, did hear people yeah. saying that this should have come way before, like, you know, when Captain America was popping out or something like that. And in response to um, female superheroes, if you look at how Captain Marvel did, she broke all kinds of records, um, you know, and she didn't have as much publicity around mm -hmm. her as Black Widow did. Black Widow had already been in several films. This was uh, Captain Marvel's first one. And Same it with was... Wonder Woman. Yeah. Well, Wonder Woman is a well-known character. Not as big as Captain Marvel. And it's but, Wonder, but Wonder Woman Marvel 1. Did... Mm. Wonder Woman 1 did way better than Wonder Woman 2. Wonder Woman well, 2. Yeah. I mean, and it was, I think it may have been pandemic related too, that yeah. it did not do as well as the first one. Yeah, know. sure. But speaking of another famous female superhero... The casting has begun for the new Batgirl movie. I'm excited. I love the character of Batgirl, Barbara mm -hmm. Gordon. Um, so there's a, a short list. There's a few actresses here that are in the running because DC, uh, Warner Brothers, they got to take this film seriously. They really do. They, yeah. you, they can't afford to have another character bomb out, you know. For every Aquaman that you have and Wonder Woman that's really good, you're going to have a, you know, a crummy Superman, you know. So mm -hmm. uh, let's see. So they have Isabella Merced. She was starred in the latest Dora the Explorer movie. Um, Zoe Deutsch from Zombieland 2. She was the blonde bubbly girl in that film. And then Leslie Grace from In the Heights are leading contenders for that film. I don't know. I wish and then I knew the a single one of those girls. I don't know any of those people. <laughs> I know all of those movies, but I I don't think I've seen any of them. No. Um and in the Heights looks pretty dumb to me. Maybe this opinion. will be whoever Dude, that's like a Porter it's a movie about Puerto Ricans, man. So? <laughs> okay. I, okay, oh, listen. I I am so I am so. T this it's is got your boy Lin Manuel Miranda. Yo, I don't like him. <gasps> no, no, no. Dude, you know what? Let me, like so let me tell you. God, I was so many people. Bro. I know. Listen, you I was having. I was having this conversation on the river. I was I was kayaking with some folks the other day, and I was talking. To you them. were in a van by the river. I was kayaking in the <laughs> river. What? In a van. Be quiet, you. Where did he get a get van on from? with it? Anyway, so I was talking with some folks, and I I was saying that Lin Manuel Miranda is the Robert Clement, or not not the Robert Clement, um, out Al, the Alan Menken of our time right now. He's doing everything musical. Yeah, he is. And so everybody everybody wants him. He's a popular thing. Um, I just don't like him. I think, you know, he's being overused. That does That's not a bad thing. I just personally don't like him. Uh, have you ever seen Hamilton, though? Wow. I don't like Hamilton. I don't like Hamilton. Oh, it was so good. I don't, I don't understand. If you, if you actually analyze... You're, why is your reasoning about that? Of not liking everybody, Hamilton? Every, everybody loves Hamilton. It's... Oh, I, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. If, if you look at it, if you really analyze the musical... The, the choreography is lackluster. The lighting is dim throughout the entire thing. The staging is bare. There's nothing to it. The only thing that it has going for it is really the music and the costuming. But other than that, it's not a very impressive musical. Wow. I think, I think it just has... I think it has wow. that... Uh, I mean, go back and look at it. Go back. And I look love at it. it. I think Hamilton I is love great. Hamilton. It was mm -hmm. so good. I don't care. I think it's a great show. Um, I'm not even a Lin Manuel Miranda fan, like fanboy, but it's yeah. a great show. It's you can't deny that show. It's I loved Hamilton incredible. and I loved Moana. <laughs> 
Yeah. I mean, and if you like it, that's great. I see the appeal. I just don't like it. I just wonder, I thought like, you know, since he's one of our Puerto Rican homeboys, you'd be Ooh, like, oh you know, like, no, oh, I, yeah. I'm, <laughs> no, I'm Puerto Rican for life. Actually, what I'm looking forward to, speaking of Puerto Rican, I, I saw um, a trailer for West Side Story. Uh, I think it's coming out at the end of this year or next year. Um, that looks pretty. That looks pretty interesting. It looks. It looks yeah, really gritty, and that's, that's that's what I'm excited for. So there you that's go. That's my dad, Steve Spielberg. There. So. Yeah, and so when it comes to um, in the Heights, I'm just, look. I don't live in a big city. I don't. I don't care about. Um, oh man, Hispanics. This, no, no, no. I don't care about. Oh, <laughs> I don't care about, um, oh, we got to save the barrio. Uh, okay, that's great. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. Dang. So wow. I, wow. Dang. I don't, look, it's it, it would be the same thing for a movie about people in the country. <gasps> if, if people in the city don't... Save don't, the country. <laughs> oh, my God. Will you shut up? <laughs> We gotta Maybe. save them country. It's about to get taken over. Exactly. <laughs> oh like people gosh. in the city don't don't appreciate They're it. Building the railroads and sewer systems and sewer systems. Hi highways. <laughs> Apparently, you've never seen newsies before. Anyways, well, I don't care about it either. Anyways, I don't, I don't again. <laughs> Bet they're making a Batgirl movie. I'm excited. I Yay. hope it, I'm sure it's I'm sure it's gonna get cast well. And it should. I mean, who knows if it'll be like a dark, gritty, ugh, dark night kind of superhero movie, or if it'll be more. Maybe um, they're maybe, trying to set the scene for adding like her with Robert Pattinson in the future with another Batman movie. We'll see. That's uh, that'd be interesting. Yeah. Woo. You know. Um, other in other news, way separate 180 in yeah. news. Uh, so we were talking last <laughs> week about the new uh, uh, Nickelodeon brawl out uh, fisticuffs video game that's uh, you know just like uh, Smash Bros. Um, already fans are just like freaking out. Like I want this character. I want this character. But apparently polls are highlighting that everybody wants uh jimmy neutron's dad hugh neutron <laughs> to be a playable character oh my god and i, and I just Jimbo all i can think is like just I the sideburns like sideburns past your ear and uh, glasses and rubber ducks know. yeah and rubber pie. ducks and pie and, yeah oh i didn't know he um, was into that too yeah, but no, it's like no, again. I was wonder. I was thinking like you know, like I was saying earlier, like when you have a character that gets hit, what would if he'd be like, oh Jimbo, Jimbo, Jimbo? I don't know. <laughs> so it's dumb. not that exaggerated in um, Super Smash Brothers. It's really just like a. It should be yell. because to me that, especially for Nickelodeon, that would be the whole fun of the game. I mean, I would. Play that game for hours is when you hit a character, they make a sound of injury. You know, if like if if Sandy's <laughs> squirrel, if Sandy's squirrel got knocked on the head by a hammer, she'd be like, hot dang, ow, ow, <laughs> ow. Oh my God. What no, is I like, know. no, I think this is some past Karachi? trauma from like... Brian. <laughs> so when we were kids, if you guys don't know, we're all siblings here. If this is your first time listening, when I was oh yeah, high, Brian, Katie, Ileana, we're we're hosting this show. Yeah. Um, when I was a kid, I've, again. Brian has twelve years on me, and he would love when we would be in the car driving to church or driving on a like trip somewhere. He would flick me in the nose, and he loved the <laughs> sound of it. Just absolutely the gratification of like a little pop sound. And he always flicks us in the nose. So I can totally understand why he is so excited about hearing these pain sounds from these characters. Ow! You know, why he'd be so excited about that. So look, like, think about it. If you have Helga Pataki and uh, you're, like, punching Helga Pataki in the face, oh she's like, criminy, criminy. <laughs> Criminy, you know, <laughs> or even funnier than that. I don't know, like some girly punch. Like, oh, 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 o
Goofy is getting punched in the stomach, so it's knocking the air out of her. Goodness gracious. This is a game for children. No, okay, so I've, I've heard a lot of people saying that they want a lot more Doug characters, like Chalky or Roger or Skeeter or even Mr. Dink. The big one that I hear is Mr. Dink. Could you imagine uh, like uh, <laughs> so, so I was saying I had I had in my notes like who would you want and I put Tippy Dink down, Mr. Dink's wife. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Why? Are you I have no idea. No, from? no idea Tippy just Dink. to have her animated and Tippy Dink who becomes the mayor of Bluffington just getting you know, knocked out, you know, by I've had enough uh, of your crap, bud. By by Harold from Hey Arnold. Oh man, I'm so hungry. Wham! You guys are picking obscure characters. This is what I could see. It's like Timmy Turner, Jimmy Neutron, you know, Danny yeah. Phantom, Carl uh, Weezer, SpongeBob SquarePants, Carl Weezer, Tommy Pickles, Ang, Cora, you know, mm. Sandy Cheeks, Patrick Starr, you know, characters. Maybe so, Hey so Arnold. So yeah, so when you beat up uh, Tommy Pickles, is he like? Oh, uh, no, no, no! If it's Jenny Tommy from listen, the Teenage Robot, listen. Jenny. If it's if it's Tommy, it's more like. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh! Ah! Oh Tommy, and then Dee 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 uh, Pickles comes in. Oh Tommy, how's my little bald boy? Oh my. <laughs> oh, you guys are done. S ah! Stew. No, Stew <laughs> Pickles. One of the most underrated animated characters. He Dee is Dee. so blah. Dee Dee. Dee Dee. Oh, oh, Dee Dee. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's so blah. He's so <laughs> What the heck? Oh, gosh. man. And with that, Katie, we're going to move on to dessert so we can get into the chunk. All right. Oh, my gosh. All right. Today's dessert. I'm really excited for this one. This comes from the Ostelina's Bakery here in Gainesville. I was really surprised when I walked in because they actually had um, these huge, elaborate wedding cakes. Like, I want to take my mom there and, and just show her what's going on at, at that place. Wait. So breaking news. Breaking news. Okay. Batgirl okay. will be played by In the Heights actress Leslie Grace in the upcoming Whoa. Batgirl movie. Just got... Breaking so In news. the Heights... In the Heights must be seen then. It's got to be seen. Now you have to watch it. Leslie Grace okay. I don't have to do anything. All right. You Lin-Manuel Miranda hater. Eat your cake. I will oh. eat my cake. I will gladly eat my cake. Um. So... I got a Thrust Leches cake. Um, this thing is loaded with milk. Woo! There goes my mic. This thing is loaded with milk, um, which is awesome. I'm gonna kind of show you here. That whole layer at the bottom is milk. Let's see, it's also very, very tall. It's got a little dollop of some sort of topping. Oh man, I'm excited for this, let's see. That is a dope dress such as cake. It's uh, very light, but very flavorful. It's soaking in milk. I like a, I, I know it's weird, but I like a good soggy cake. Um, Really good. Oh my God. She likes some big. I do. She likes and some this, soggy. Yeah. This is a very generous portion. There's no way I can finish this. Um, So, uh, excellent job by Dio Salinas Bakery here in Gainesville. Eat local. Uh, Ileana, what have you got? All right, so uh, Hunter and I recently just started this anime. Uh, if you guys do not know, Hunter is my boyfriend. And we started watching- Ileana has a boyfriend? Ooh! Too many weeks now. Anyways, we started watching uh, Neon Gen Genesis Evangelion. It's an anime that we are watching on Netflix. I think you can watch it most streaming services, I think. That's um, a good one. Has an 8.5 on IMDb, and pretty much every anime lover will rave about this one if they've seen it. It goes up there with Attack on Titan, Full Metal Alchemist, uh, you name it. Just right up there on top tier. So I've never seen it before. We decided to give it a watch. Um, 
great so far. Have not finished it, but uh, I'll give you guys an update when I do finish it. It's about, you know, mecha anime space uh, stereotypical monsters come down to Earth. We gotta save the Earth. And here are these kids, and they're gonna defend Earth however they can. However, this one has a bit of a twist where it's very um, psychological, I'd say. Where, as you know, they're kind of like, ha ha, we're gonna go kick some alien butt. And then they kick the alien butt. But in this one, it's more like, oh crap, this is actually me like messing with their psyche a, a bit, you know. This is taking a toll on their mental capacity to live a normal life after they do these battles. So, um, really beautiful animation. It's, um, 1995, so it has that beautiful 1990s anime, uh, animation, crisp, clean drawings that, gosh, I miss so much. So, um, go check it out. Neon Genesis Evangelion. Evangelion, however people say it. I think that's the worst pronunciation. Evangelion. Don't say that. Evangelion. Watch the anime. It is a really cool show. I like it. Yeah. Brian! The Chunk! What you got for us today? You have a game. Oh, yeah. This is a classic game. So pretty much what we're going to do for you guys, we're going to play a little bit of a liar, liar, pants on fire. Whoa. And, uh... It's going to be a Disney Pixar edition since we keep going back to that well. I think it's uh, pretty fun. And uh, I think the audience seems to like it, so we'll keep continuing that. But pretty much what's going to happen is we're going to do three rounds of this game. And in this game, I'm going to read three statements. And then Katie and Ileana had to discuss under uh, penalty of death which choose <laughs> which statement. No, I'm not kidding. Penalty oh. of death. <laughs> All right. You guys have to choose which I don't know statement. If that's a woo woo statement as as much as it is like a. Right. Penalty of death. Okay, so you guys have to choose which statement is in fact false. But I've made it very difficult for you. I've tried my okay. hardest and dingest to make this tricky. So uh, let's start with round number one. Uh, I'll give you a little hint. This uh, category is classic Disney. Okay. So for your first statement, in the classic Sleeping Beauty movie, the drunk minstrel gets drunk and falls asleep on a balcony... Or is it Pongo in 101 Dalmatians has 72 spots? Or up until the theatrical release of The Fox and the Hound, Chief the Dog was animated to die? Okay, so, which, so we're looking for the so false what, one. Which is the false <laughs> statement? I would go over each of them, discuss, and... Okay. Amongst yourselves. Um. So can I? Can we work backwards, Ileana? Yeah. Um. Okay. I, so, I wrote them down. Also. All right. So I know that the Fox and the Hound was originally a book, and the book was really dark. In fact, uh, Todd, and um, crap. What's his name? I don't know. Oh my god, what's his name? Todd Copper. And Copper. Oh my god, thank you. Um, it didn't end well for them in the book. They didn't actually become friends. It was a Disney thing that they became friends. Mm hmm Um, so I'm guessing that Chief died in the book. Okay, so that um, could and be the so, truth. Yeah, I'm gonna say that that was the truth. Um I'm what do you think about that? I, I also think so. Okay. Because um, then for... they use that same, like, dog in a bunch of different movies, like Disney kind of... Chief? Isn't is it? Mm, he... No. They use his voice. Oh. Yeah, that voice actor did a few things, like in Robin Hood. or Yeah, Robin Hood. Um, but uh, going to 101 Dalmatians, I have not counted... How many spots are on Pongo? 
72 seems like a lot, but I don't know. I there are two sides know. to him. He's and very the, spotty. The drunk menstrual what 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 is it minstrel i thought he fell asleep menstrual (laughs) oh lord almighty i think he fell asleep under the table so that's my guess that the first one is wrong i think he fell asleep under the table and not the balcony not the balcony i think he fell asleep under the table all right are we gonna say that's our lie that that is the lie Okay. Final answer. Final answer. Drunk. You guys, minstrel. you guys are correct. The Yay! in Sleeping Beauty, the <laughs> minstrel falls asleep under the the table. Wow. Yeah. Woo-hoo! I'm nice glad you're job, on my guys. team because I wouldn't have known. Yeah, yeah. I like I like the way you guys worked that out. That's what we need to do uh, moving forward. Okay. Yeah, of course, man. Okay. All right. So good job, guys. So you live to die another day. <gasps> oh Lord. Oh. This is like jackpot. Okay. Me. <laughs> okay, so the next category, classic Pixar. Okay. Okay. Classic Pixar. So here we go. There was an 18 car pileup in Toy Story 2. Oh, man. Bomb Voyage makes a cameo in Ratatouille by Notre Dame. And many scenes in the film Up take place in a tapui. It's a tabletop mountain or mesa found in the Guiana Highlands of South America, which include Venezuela and Western Guyana. Wow. That last one was like, my, my brain started like fritzing. Uh, okay, so we're going to uh, start so, okay. backwards and go back up. All right. So, uh, hey, the, by the way, it, you guys cannot. I I don't think you. We're not. I can't see you, but I can see you. But don't you cannot use your phones or internet. This is just yes. Stop no, no, man. No we're cheating. we're not doing that. Simply I know. writing everything right, down so I do not lose track. <laughs> All right. So yeah. you said tap, tapui, right? A tapui. T e p u i. Yeah. So it looks like the where the house lands, where uh, Paradise Falls is, it's very flat. So I would call that a mesa. Um, and it does take place in Venezuela. I don't know anything else about so we can, that. <laughs> we can all maybe call this a truth. I'll call that a truth. Um, so the second one, Bon um, Voyage. You do see Bon Voyage. He's in he's, Ratatouille. Yeah. Um, you do see him. I don't know if he's by Notre Dame. Um, do we see Notre Dame? In Ratatouille? I don't know. If if it is, if we do, then it's way off in the background. Uh-huh. Because um, you do see Bon Voyage, but I never pay attention to the background at right, that point. I'm always like, hey, look at Bon Voyage. Mm. He's like miming or handing out balloons. He's doing mm-hmm. one of the two. So that could be a lie, but we also have 18 car pile up in Toy Story 2. Get out of that car! <laughs> what um, scene is that in? It's, it's oh, when that's, they, that's when they're uh, crossing the... Yeah, uh, with the cones. Cross, yeah, the traffic cones. Yeah. Drop! Yeah. Yeah, I said drop! <laughs> yeah, with the gum <laughs> Um, Al's toy barn. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, I remember. Um, I could very well say that's a truth. It, it I think almost, that's a truth. It sounds accurate. They're in the city. <sighs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna. My guess is that the second one is false. I don't think that. Um, I don't think we see Notre. Dame. I don't think Notre Dame is there. No. Um. I don't know if it's any historical landmark, but I don't know. I don't think it's Notre Dame because I I never saw Notre Dame. Yeah, and... I'm not remembering it. Mm. I think we're going to call it. That's the lie. The second one. You guys are incorrect. No! The lie was it's a 15-car pileup oh! in Toy Story 2. Oh. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> So one of you must die. All right, I'll take the fall. I'll, I'll, 
thanks. I'll I'll get the next one. <laughs> okay. No, I'm joking. You're still alive. So Yay! Yay! Okay. Okay. So, here's the next and final category. Oh, and by the way, if you like the show, uh, subscribe to the podcast. Yeah. Uh, subscribe to us on Spotify, um, on YouTube, and click the bell for notifications. All Leave that good a stuff. like and some comments. You know, we love to hear from you guys. We love to Absolutely. hear from you guys. And this is Brian, KT, and Ileana. We're siblings, and this is our podcast. So, the final category, films distributed by Disney. Oh, boy. Films distributed by Disney. Great. Great. So, the first one is... uh, Miyazaki described Ponyo as an onomatopoeia of what a soft, squishy softness would sound like. Okay. Rowan Atkinson did not return to voice Zazu the bird in all the sequels to the Lion King films. Oh, man. And number three, the appliances in the brave little toaster in the climax are sent to Bernie's disposal junkyard. <sighs> okay. Um, all right all so right so we're gonna start backwards and go up appliances right. in the brave little toaster at the climax are sent to bernie's disposal junk yard you've seen the brave little toaster hundreds of times i've probably seen it twice yeah i'm i'm thinking about the name um i think he's tricking me with the name because it wasn't a junkyard. Mm-hmm. It was a like a thrift store or or like a place where you could buy parts. It wasn't a junkyard. Okay. Um I'm going to let's let's put that in our in our pocket. Okay. We're going to put a um, pin right there. Yeah, put put a pin in that. Um the second one, Rowan Atkinson, Zazu and the Lion King uh, sequels did not return to voice Zazu. Uh, I, I don't like rem- did. <laughs> I don't know. But I don't I don't think so. No. I don't think he did. Um I'm trying to think of the Lion King 2. Uh-huh. And Lion King 1. And he a was half. barely in that. Like Zazu, I don't even Gosh, remember it's been Zazu years being in that. since I've seen those movies. And then um, Lion King one and a half. I don't remember him being in that either. Mm. So that could be a lie. No, no, no. That would be that would be the truth. Oh, a truth, truth. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I think I remember hearing Miyazaki. Yeah, say, I have yeah. definitely heard that before. Yeah. So I'm. I'm leaning more towards the Brave Little Toaster because it wasn't a junkyard. Why don't you guys cut it down to two? Take or um, I would I would say it's either Rowan Atkinson or uh, Brave Little Toaster the junkyard. So uh, I'll so I'll go ahead and let you know the Miyazaki one. At, that's the truth. So you have okay. to decide between Rowan Atkinson and Brave Little Toaster. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna say Brave Little Toaster Let's because do it. It, it wasn't a, it wasn't a junkyard. It was a place where you it was like a thrift store. I thought they do go to a junkyard though. They go to a, they go to a junkyard, but not that's not the junkyard. It's like a car that like all the cars are there and they're all singing about yeah. Their but death. Bernie's um the guy that uh is in the store though. I thought his name was Bernie. Oh man, this sucks. <laughs> now, now I'm second guessing myself, cause, um. So here's my thinking. They go first. They go 
to they get stuck in the swamp and the guy saves him and I thought his name was Bernie. Um wait, wait. It's crazy Bernie's something um junkyard. Okay. So it is it is Bernie's junkyard. Um what is the what did you what is the quote that you said, Brian? Let me hear it. Brian said, appliances at the climax of Brave Little Toaster climax. go to Bernie's Disposal Junkyard. Okay, I'm starting to think that that's true, now that I'm thinking about it. Because he also says the climax. Uh -huh. Crazy Bernie. But it's Crazy Bernie's. <sighs> I don't know. I'm mad. Curse you, Brave Little Toaster! <laughs> All right, let's lock it in. Break all right, all right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I'm gonna say brave little toaster. Brave little toaster, lock it in. That has to lie. Yes. Yeah. You guys are incorrect. Oh, dang it! Oh. No, but you're also correct though. It was crazy. So the lie is that it's not Bernie, it's Ernie. Oh. Ernie. And it's Bernie's disposal. Also, crazy, it's crazy, it's Ernie. Crazy Ernie's amazing emporium of total bargain madness. <laughs> That's cheating. That's cheating because they kept changing the name. The TV kept changing no, the name. But at the end, but at the end of the day, it was still just Ernie's disposal and uh, junkyard. Yeah. So that was it. It was just the lie. <laughs> it was just Bernie and Ernie, and you guys so, goofed on it. So the lie is Zazu. No, the the lie. So I got it right. Rowan Atkinson did not. Yeah, so you guys got it right, but not for the reason that you think you got it right. Ah, oh, so we well, did get still, it right. Still. I still got it right. Okay. That's but not for the reason that you, you said not your train of thought. Correct. But I right, still right. got it right. Ah. Yes, you did. On a Scantron, yeah. you can't tell. <laughs> I still I still bubbled in C. So we got that <laughs> but one. But right. if you if right. you had to show if you had to show your work, you were way you off. Were wrong. So shut up though. I still got it right. <laughs> Oh man, that was fun. I, that was, but I was close. That I was, was close. really hard to sit through, honestly. Oh, like the whole man. time. Oh man, dang. Especially like if you knew the answer, you're just like biting your tongue. You're yelling at your radio right now. Oh what? my god, don't you know it's Ernie, not Bernie? Bernie? Stupid! God can't get anything <laughs> right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Simmer down. My mother, Simmer down. Our mother would be like, you guys memorize all these TV shows and cartoons and all this and that. And Why, can't you, the Bible? Why can't you memorize the Bible? Why can't you memorize the Bible? The Bible's call, existed longer. Don't call out our mother like that. <laughs> hey, you know, you. in in our in 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 her defense, actually, she's gotten really good at memorizing stuff and quoting things as well. Yeah. Okay. Um. What I was playing. Platoon with Katie today. Oh yeah! And after just a few gameplays, she memorized the ending minute of a battle song within like a couple rounds. I was like, she's already singing it. I'm like, how do you know this already? We just started playing. You've never heard this before. Actually, Anyways, that's not true because we both have put in several hundred. But she's hours never really been around Splatoon. when we played. Anyways, thank you so much, Brian. That was a great game. We'll have to do that one again. That was hard. You came up with some hard ones. We'll do it again. We'll do it again sometime. Yeah, that was oh, yeah. a yeah. Hard, hard level. Battles, battles. Anyways, so, um, that's episode yeah. 30, my friends. Oh my, my goodness, gosh. this is episode 30, 30 episodes. If you suck with us um, all this time, thank you so if much you for being here. If you suck with us? If you've stuck, excuse me while I enunciate oh. my teeth, stuck with us uh, this long, thank you so much for being a... Um, a listener we really appreciate you guys and uh, also if you're now on spotify hopefully you guys uh can listen to us more and we'll just be popping out episodes weekly again thank you guys so much for listening to this week's episode and we will see you guys in next week's episode where we talk about what are we talking about our fandom fans, our fans toxic 
Ooh. Are you toxic to whatever you are a Poison fan of? Poison fandom. Ooh, good topic. And, and this is an ongoing debate. There's no right or wrong answers. I think we're just going to have a nice, clean discussion. What do you yes. guys think? Yes. A nice, a nice, clean discussion. Because we're discussion. all fans of something, and, you know, we have our moments where we're like, oh, we have our demands, and our creators don't meet our demands. So that'll be a really interesting topic to discuss next week. Stay tuned for that. And thank you so much for listening to Bump That, episode 30. We will see you guys next week. Bye-bye. See you guys. Bye.